The G5 drill jig is designed to make drilling holes accurate and fast. For your safety, we recommend using the Lead Park manual to supplement this video guide and the use of personal protection equipment. If the drill jig does not operate as intended, please read the troubleshooting guide or contact your supplier for support. Measure and mark the LED positions on the rail. Inspect the drill jig cutter assembly. If cutters are installed, they should be fully retracted inside the assembly. If not, retract the cutters now using your drill or proceed to the next step to install them. Be aware, if drilling flat-faced surfaces or square rail, you will need to check that the flat face spacer is installed. Do not use the flat face spacer when drilling into curved rail. See the section on square rail flat face setup for more details or refer to your manual. Use your drill to fully extend the cutter end thread. Screw on the 16mm counter bore cutter first using the cutter removal tool to tighten. Ensure the cutter space is installed between the 16mm and 15mm cutters. Screw on and tighten the 15mm cutter. Fully retract the cutters inside the cutter assembly. To remove or replace a cutter, simply reverse the previous steps. The drilling angle can be set in increments of 10 degrees using the angle setter. Loosen the two grub screws to adjust and secure your desired angle. Apply a small amount of lubricant to the cutters with the supplied stick. Loosen the vice grip and wrap the clamping chain around the rail, securing the chain with the chain hook. Make sure your spirit guide is level, then squeeze the vice grip to secure the drill jig to the rail. You can also clamp the drill jig in the reverse position. This can help with avoiding obstacles. Note, if reversing the drill jig position, the angle setter must also be reversed to the opposite position. If the clamp is too loose or too tight, you may need to adjust the chain tension. Release the vice grip and adjust the tension thumb screw or chain position as needed. The drill jig is designed to be used with a battery-operated cordless drill only with a recommended maximum speed of 400 RPM. Set the drill to drill setting and use a slow or low RPM setting. Secure the supplied 10 mm AF socket to the drill. Without forcing or pushing, engage the drill on the drill jig. Stop drilling once the hex drive has fully receded and can go no further. Reverse to back out the hex drive until it is fully retracted. After each hole, remove and inspect the drill jig cutter assembly, removing the slug and any swarf with pliers. Use the file to smooth any burrs. You're now ready to repeat these steps on the following hole. Drilling into flat-faced surfaces or square rail requires the use of the flat face spacer. Inspect your drill jig to confirm this is pre-installed. If not, ensure to install the flat face spacer first then follow with the 16mm and 15mm cutter installation as normal.